uh, I was going to London and on the way I got a phone call and they said, oh, um, Robert Downey Jr., there is a space and you can interview him and you've got to get here in the next 45 minutes. And I was exactly 45 minutes away. When you work in radio, there's certain um, big name people that you want to meet and interview. And I've met a few people in my time, you know, traveling around the country. They tend to have big events that are put on. And actually, when I lived in Cambridge, there was this thing called the Cambridge Union at the university where a lot of speakers from around the world came to talk. And they'd invited Robert Downey Jr. of Iron Man, all the films of fame. Uh, and he was turning up in person. Um, and I had really wanted to meet him and talk to him. And I'd applied through the, you know, the university press team. And I'd spoken to his management team and I'd you know I said please can I come along and they said I'm really sorry there's no space I said okay whatever so on that day I was driving quite far away from Cambridge about 45 minutes away uh, I was going to London and on the way I got a phone call and they said oh um Robert Downey Jr there is a space and you can interview him and you've got to get here in the next 45 minutes and I was exactly 45 minutes away so I was like hmm I think I do want to meet Robert Downey <laughs> Jr. So I turned the car around within the speed limit, completely bombed it along the motorway to try and get back to Cambridge. And just as we were approaching Cambridge, there was a huge, the world's biggest traffic jam. And I thought, I'm not going to make it. They've, uh, they've told me that I can meet Robert Downey Jr. I'm not going to make it. And I was getting closer and closer to this, uh, the, the Cambridge Union where he was doing the talk. Um, and I thought, I'm ditching the car forget it i'm gonna i'm just gonna ditch the car and i found somewhere to park which was about let's say a mile away and i shoved the car into this parking space and it was just the wheels were just hanging out the back of the parking space and i thought whatever it doesn't matter i'm seeing robert downey jr i sprinted along the road <laughs> as fast as i could and as i as i sort of burst into the building and stood in the press line right on the end he entered the room so i did actually get to meet and speak to Robert Downey Jr. So he comes down the line and they all ask him these questions. They're really boring questions, you know, like, oh, you know, is it nice to be in Cambridge? And he's like, yes, great to be here. Thanks very much. And then I got to ask my question, which was, you know, what are you going to talk about to students? Like, how are you going to inspire them? And he actually gave a really nice answer. You know, he, he was quite like forthcoming. And it was amazing. It was one of the best interviews I've ever done. It was a brilliant moment. And I went back to my car. And as I got there, there was a parking warden and he was giving me a ticket. I said, excuse me, I've just interviewed Robert Downey Jr. Can you just let me off this ticket? <laughs> and he went, sorry, mate, but your wheel is a few inches past the line. And I said, what i didn't understand that that was the law that if your wheel was out of the line that you deserved a ticket so, so i said oh uh, can you let me off and he went no sorry and i went well that's okay i'm happy because i've had a nice day and that was it i got a 200 pound uh, parking ticket to interview robert downey jr but in my mind it was worth it so 